All right, guys, we're back with another video here on the Infinity, the G37. Mine is a 2011. Those of you that have watched the previous videos will know that. Um, but we did end up ordering a wing, like a little duckbill spoiler off Amazon for the car. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go into the back there. I got the trunk opened up. Go and get out that little inner lining, whatever you want to call it, like carpet type stuff. Get that taken out because I assume there should be screws under there that are holding that stock OEM spoiler on the car. And we'll get that taken off and get this new one put on. So I'm going to get back there to the back of the car start filming me doing some of that and kind of talk to you guys while we get all that done. All right, now you can see I got one of the little clips out. The random cup in my trunk. Nothing's in it, so looks clean. So we'll just use that to put stuff in for this little job. So I'm gonna do most of this, try to do it one-handed for the most part. Let's see. You can just use like a little flathead or something in order to pop them loose. Do that one. I'm just using these because I did the carbon on the inside of my door. I'll have to show you guys that. I'm gonna throw up some pictures right here of me doing the door panel pieces and fixing those because man they look pretty bad this little kit here i bought in order to do that so it's working out for this too i want to record this that way you guys know what i did so on these little pieces let me see i'm trying to look to the camera and do this so you can just kind of pop them loose like that kind of work it be careful and you can pop them out that way you can get the uh cover off here the little black handle you're going to want to pop out there too it's going to be this handle so make sure you get that out. All right, so this is the wing. You can kind of see it right here. It's got like a black just finish, you know, nothing too crazy. And so that's it there. You can see it's got the holes for your camera and your trunk button. But I got that piece off. Now what I'm going to do here is go ahead and pop these bolts of loose. Go and get them a loose. Looks like a 8 millimeter. is what that looks like. Got a brand new socket set too that I forgot about. Dang, I should have brought it. Um, Let's see. So yeah, you're going to take these out. Then it's got like a little clip over there. You guys can see. And I'm kind of using the camera to look. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, back there. So we're going to get all those loose and then the OEM spoiler should come right off. All right. So I got all the bolts out of the uh, stock spoiler here. You can kind of see it's moving around. Just kind of wiggle it. It's kind of what I'm doing. It may have double sided tape on it as well. I, I don't know. But uh, we're just going to kind of work it back and forth here. Get it to come loose. And then we're going to go on. Uh oh, looks like it's coming some more. I'm just trying to be easy with it. So yeah, I'm gonna use both hands real quick, finish getting this off, and we'll be ready to go on, hopefully with the new one. Having this tool actually made this a lot easier because now you can use any kind of pry bar, I'm sure, you know, to do this. I'm not saying you gotta have this specific tool, but what I did here, just went in here. You need something, whatever you can come up with, to get in here and pry out on that little peg or whatever you wanna call it. So you need to pry that out. That's mainly what's holding this on. Got this one over here undone, now I just gotta get that one. All right, I just want to show you guys what I've done here. Oh, let me get a little stuff on it. I'll wipe all that off. That's up there, so should be okay. Anyway, so what I did here is just took some alcohol pads. It's just all I had. Took and cleaned the trunk really, really good. Then I took the little rag here, microfiber, and went back and just cleaned it really good, made sure there was no residue of any kind of dirt, anything. That way we can put this double-sided sticky tape. I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. Um, so we'll see how well it sticks. It feels like it's pretty good. We'll leave it, but uh, yeah, there's no mounting hardware other than this. This is literally all you get. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick it on there, how they send it. We'll see what it feels like. If we don't like it, we'll take it off and redo it. But, so it's not that big a deal. But uh, I did take and clean all this with alcohol pads too. This is just, you know, just some regular alcohol pads. Um, you know, you could use just rubbing alcohol on a rag, I'm sure. That's just what I had already in the car. So I took and cleaned it up really good, the surface, and we're gonna put this on and yeah, see how it goes. All right, so y'all can see how I laid in that double-sided tape. Made sure to lay it in real good, real nice and neat, you know, as neat as I could. And we're about to stick this thing on. We got a little later out here, but as you can see, we got the wing on. Let me close the trunk, let the trunk down. So there it is. I'll throw up some pictures here in the video of it. And um, yeah, man, it turned out pretty good. So what I did is just use the existing hole here that's already you know in the car so i didn't want to make any holes in this at all and so i just used the one that was already there put me a like a wood screw and a washer you can obviously use whatever screw you think's best you know that's just what i had so it's what i used but that's kind of my only little you know i guess complaint more or less it uh it just it didn't have any hardware you know so there's no way to mount it other than the double-sided sticky tape which i did use but I got that and this right here. The reason I wanted these screws is because it kept coming up on this end. Like it stuck pretty good, but this little edge right here was coming up 
but now that I got the screws in there, it's, it's, you know, it's solid. Like you can take and you can lift the trunk with this piece. Um, I'm still not going to do it though because of my luck, it'll mess up or something. But anyway, so now we're just going to get everything put back on and I guess that'd be a wrap on that.